Okay, welcome back. Today we are going to cover primary formats on the topic of whole numbers. So today we are going to go through three examples and then we have some exercise for you to practice. So in the first example, it says there are 1,542 cows in the farm. The number of pigs is 56 more than the number of cows. How many cows and pigs are there in total? Okay, so this is the numbers. Please take note. And then here is the work solution. So this is the number of cows. We draw a bar to represent. Then it says number of pigs is 56 times more. Uh, 56 more. So we draw the diagram. This orange bar represents the additional 56. So the total number of pigs is given by this equation. Okay? Therefore, the total number of cows and pigs, we just need to add, add this together with the number of cows. And that gives us 3140. I hope it's clear. Basically, the trick is to draw the diagram, and you need to draw the additional 56. Then you find the number of pigs, then add it together to the number of cows. That will give you the total number of animals you have. Okay, so this is the first exercise for you to practice on your own. This is about number of buses and the number of bikes. You can work out in a similar way using a diagram we've just learned. Okay, so now let's proceed to the next one. So there are 47 Christmas trees and the number of apple trees is this amount more than the number of Christmas trees. How many Christmas trees and apple trees are there in total? So similarly, we are also going to draw the diagram for the Christmas trees and the apple trees. So this is the 47 Christmas trees we have. And says the number of apple trees is 429 more than the number of Christmas trees. So the orange bar here represents this additional 429. So it's very simple. So for the apple trees, we just add the blue part and the orange part. And yes. Or alternatively, you can see we have two blue parts, right? So it's just 47 multiplied by 2 plus this additional 429. So it is just this two blue bar plus this one orange bar. And that is 94 plus this give us 523. So this is also similar to the previous question, uh, except there is multiplication for this case. Just take note, there are two blue bars and this one additional orange bar. So you remember, I need to write down this end statement. There are 523 trees in total. And this is another exercise for you to practice. Okay, so this is today's last example. There are 379 turtles in the farm. There are 24 more turtles than the rabbits in the farm. How many turtles in the rabbits are there in total? So, this is uh, this um, blue and um, orange bar gives you a total number of turtles. And then question says, there are 24 more turtles than the rabbit. So that means our rabbit is much less by 24. So this additional 24 is what? More than the number of rabbit. So with the help diagram, we can see, we can find out number of rabbits easily. So basically it's the entire length minus already this orange part, which is 355. Then we plus the total number of 
uh, turtles and a rabbit. And we have this. Okay, so whenever you face this type of problems, just draw a diagram. Then you can see their relationship is there. And this will be the last exercise for today. Um, there are 269 carrots in the supermarket and there are 68 more carrots than the cabbage. How many carrots and cabbage are there in total? So just like the previous two exercises, you just draw the diagram to help you see the relationship uh, more clearly. Okay, that's end for today. So we make math simple and fun.